So yesterday was the practice match for the Daiwa Masters that we're fishing today and I was on four on house pool which was a nice draw, the wind blowing down and it's just been a really good bit recently and I fished casters and worms in the edge and across and I've had a nice day to be fair, I've just nicked odd fish off both my lines all day and then I had a good run at the end in the edge and I've weighed £135 which is enough to win the practice match which is obviously great gives you a bit of confidence going into today and obviously today's day one and I've drawn 25 on extension now it fished quite hard on here yesterday I think 60 odd pound won the lake so a lot different to yesterday's match but I'm going to fish very similar tactics be a bit steady a bit patient waiting for bites and hopefully we can do all right I think it's important on this festival that you've got cover covering your pegs really important and obviously I've drawn here with a nice bit of um a reedy, reedy far bank, so hopefully it should hold a few fish and we can catch some. Hi, I'm Mitch Davidson, I'm the reigning uh, Dial Pole Master Champion from last year. Um, I drew peg 37 on extension today, which is a peg I actually drew on the second day of last year. Um, I managed to win the section from. So today I'm going to start off across with pellets, um, probably fish maggots in the edge and maggots short. Um, maybe maggots up and down at 30 metres on the bottom. Uh, it's pegged a bit tighter by the looks of it this year, but we'll still have a go and see where we go from there. Well, I'm on uh, House 30, which is uh, out on the jetty, probably the highest peg on the lake, so you're a bit up high. A uh, bit of a section of death. I've got Kieran to my left and I've got Andy Power to my right. Um, decent, decent area on the lake. It's quite tightly pegged today. It's been blowing down towards sort of peg 2 and 27 all week, and there's a bit of fluff that way already. So, uh, But hopefully there's some fish around here. I've got depth. Um, it's 18 metres right under that willow tree, so uh, hopefully I don't have to go that far. But um, yeah, it's a, it's a funny old peg really, but um, takes a bit of takes quite a bit to get comfortable on. But uh, we'll see we'll see what we get. I, I don't think it's going to be a massive weight, but you never know. And uh, with these two anglers either side, there's got to be a few fish here. So day one of the pole masters, and I've drawn a really nice peg, peg 35 on new pool. And just for a change, I've had a little stroke of luck and uh, peg 33 hasn't been drawn. Loads and loads of room, um, got to fancy it to be honest. So nice simple approach, I'm thinking um, worms and then a few more worms and uh, probably some more worms. So worms in the edge, worms across and I'm going to throw some maggots in down the middle for shallow and on the bottom, see what happens. But the lake's been fishing quite hard so I don't want to do too much, just want to concentrate on trying to catch a few fish early. If it's looking good with that extra space, then I can try and push it later on, maybe catch a few shallow. But uh, I don't think we're fishing for massive weights, 80 pound, 100 pound, something like that. Um, so I've got to really fancy it. That extra space is definitely, definitely going to help. So fingers crossed, things go well. Hi, I'm Mike Williams. Uh, it's the first day of the day one masters today. I've been looking forward to this for a long time, to be fair. Done loads of prep for it, spent loads of money. But unfortunately, I'm not drawn great. I don't reckon 25 on high pool. Um, there was a practice match yesterday and Christian drew on you and he tipped back. So, and he's a good angler, a lot better than me. But you never know. I think it's just this a six in a section. So, you know, you could potentially win the section. I think the two ends will be good, but I'll give it my best shot. And uh, if I can get away with a second or a third today and then hopefully get on some pegs to finish the, the festival off. Be nice. So, first day of Masters and... Yeah, it's rather embarrassing where I've drawn. I've drawn. I've drawn the peg I actually had on the last round of last year's Masters, which I was very look, lucky enough to catch the biggest weight on. I've drawn right behind me on 15 high, which it's embarrassing. Like, even by my standards, it's embarrassing. But all you want is it'd be nice to catch a big weight today, but all you want is a peg that you can win section off. That's the thing on the first day is having a nice day to start, and hopefully if I don't mess it up, it should be all right there. Proper suit to my type of fishing. Probably more carp in that peg than the rest of Tunnel Barn put together. So, fingers crossed they're willing and I catch a few.
So yesterday was day one of the Masters and I drew 25 on extension. Good draw in the section to be honest, I had a lovely reed bed across and I fished worms across in soil for probably four hours to be honest, catching stockies, odd skimmer, big F1 and a few carp on it as well which are nice. And then the last hour I've thrown maggots short and I've caught really well there for the last hour. I probably had 60 pound there short and I've ended up with 141 pound which was second on the match and it won my section as well so great start couldn't have done much better to be honest and today i've drawn a bit of a little weird peg it's uh, 18 on house a bit narrow here a bit close to the bridge but um should be all right i think anywhere with some cover is good at the minute and i've got lots of cover in the edge and across so hopefully we can catch a few today yesterday i drew 29 on house i had a lovely day's fishing i caught some early on worms to the bridge in the edge uh, some on casters long shallow a few skimmers on the bottom over it and some shallow on the pot. I finished up with £115, that won me the section. Today I'm on 17 on new. Similar approach, casters again to some cover to my right uh, in the edge with casters, worm again on the bottom. Chuck some maggots short, hopefully I can catch a few. I've got bagger in my section so it's going to be tough but we'll give it our best shot and see how we get on. Right, so today, not quite the epicentre that we had yesterday, but phenomenal day when I was. Today I've drawn 29 house, which I'm not unhappy to be honest. I'd rather be a bit further down, I'd rather have some cover. I think that's going to be my issue today, is not having any cover across, mainly lots and lots of roots. But I've got a bit of room, I've got lucky in that a peg's not in at this top end. So I'm hoping that it's going to be a bit more delicate than yesterday, I think. I think Jordan had 140 yesterday from 25. So if I can catch £100, I think that'll give me a good chance of being first or second. I just need to catch some cow with a bit of luck. We shall see. So I've drawn the exact same peg as yesterday, four on new. Yesterday I had £102. I felt like I made a few mistakes, to be honest. So I'm sort of happy that I get another go at it. Conditions are a little bit different, but the section yesterday fished quite hard. So fingers crossed. We got off to a good win yesterday. I won my section. If I can go in and get another section win, it'll put me in the running for tomorrow. So... Hopefully I can improve on yesterday and go into the last day with two wins. So fingers crossed, we'll see. Right, so I was on peg 20 on house yesterday. Um, I had a steady day really, catching on worms across, an odd one on casters and then a few on maggot short to finish off with £57, which has been lucky enough to win the section. Today I'm on peg 11 on club. It was second in section yesterday with £67, 80 odd pounds, won the section in the middle, but um, you can see I've got some nice rushes across, so hopefully catch a few shallow in them and an odd one on worms and meat to start with and we'll see where we go. Hopefully it's uh, another nice day. Right, so I had a great start yesterday. Uh, it started really well in the draw bag to be honest. I drew house six, one of my favourite pegs on the complex. Uh, I've caught mainly shallow. Uh, there was sort of eight to ten inch deep uh, all day. I fed a lot of bait just to keep them there because I was in open water, I didn't have any cover. Uh, and then I've had a few at five metres on the bottom as well, on maggots, and then a few on worm underneath my castle line when, when it just went a bit funny at times. Uh, today, I've drawn new 27, an area I've fished a lot, um, and I've got some really good cover across, and I think that's going to be key today with the conditions. It's, it's not going to be easy. There's like no wind at all, bright sunshine. There's a few muggers knocking about, so I'll try and mug a few on maggots early, and then... Uh, switch over to casters and worm hopefully against the against the cover and let's see how it goes
So I'm Rob Parker, uh, drew Jenny's peg 15 the first day. I've caught a uh, shallow to the cover across, up and down. Uh, I've had a few down the edge late on. Uh, won the section with 118 pound. Uh, so that was a good start. Second day, I've drew house peg two, just down here. I uh, fancied it to be fair. In with peg six though, so I'm not too, I wasn't too sure about that. But uh, it turned out all right. The struggle on six to be fair, so I've had, I've caught, uh, I've fished shallow again to the cover, across, up and down, and then I've had a few late down the edge on worms. Uh, first 76 pound, again won the section. So two points, really, really happy with that. And then today I've drew house peg 27, which didn't do very well yesterday, so I'm not too sure how it's going to fish, but I'll have to give it a good go. I've been coming like the last four years. Uh, it's a great event, to be fair. Uh, yeah, love coming every year. Uh, I really enjoyed this year. Shame about the fluff on the water, like, but it's been right. it's, it's been good. Yeah, enjoyed it. Right here at the Pole Masters at Tunnel. Um, on now on the third day. Um, I managed to win my section both days so far. Um, first day I've drawn this same peg, 34 on high pull. Uh, managed to catch 78 pound, caught a bit of everything. Um, second day I've drawn an absolute screamer in Canal 1. Managed to mug £60 in the first hour and then chopped and changed and managed to weigh £142 which won the second section and was second in the match which gave me a good chance coming into today. Um, and then I've gone in the bag of dreams and drawn the same peg that I drew first day. Um, so yeah, we'll give it a go and hopefully be alright. So yesterday I drew the same peg, new four. I managed 103 pounds, so I'm exactly the same weight near enough as day one. Um, I'm on a different peg today. I managed my section, so I've got two section wins, lying third overall going into the last day. Drawn 13 on top pool. Um, probably got half a decent chance of getting the section, so fingers crossed if we can do that, hopefully it'll push me up the leaderboard or stay where I am. Um, relying on a little bit of luck from the other anglers, hoping, you know, Jamie Hughes has got a really good weight on me. Jimmy Brooks has got quite a bit of weight on me, so I ain't going to catch enough weight to sort of overtake them. Um, but, you know, main thing, try and get the section in the bag and then we'll take it from there, hopefully.
So, this is the uh, part we've all been waiting for, the overall results. Third overall, again three points, a weight of 292.11, Jordan Holloway. Well, what can I say about this man? He's the only man to have won the Daiwa Pole Fishing Masters twice already. He very nearly made it a third time. Three points, a weight of 368.8, Andy Bennett. <laughs> but the winner, he's had um, fantastic performance. He now goes on as well to be a two times winner to join Andy Bennett in that exclusive club. Three points, a weight of £409.7, picking up £3,000 and the Daiwa Air Z Pro Pole worth well, an RRP of £7,000. Big round of applause, Jamie Hughes. Let's give a round of applause. Well done. Well, I'm here with the 2022 champion, Jamie Hughes. Jamie, you've won this one before. You've won it again. Just very briefly talk us through your three days. Three days. First day, Drew, best bag at Tunnel Bar. Lovely one, special one. The one that, as you mentioned, that finished last year's Masters on, 15 high. Yeah. Best, best bag on the place, very, very lucky. And more than anything, a confidence booster. Yeah. So I had a lovely day there, catching lots of carp on pallets. Um, I had 171 pound. Second day I drew up here, 29 extension. Again, I really fancy because it's a carpy area. I mean, it, you, you won't cover this week. That's been a big thing, yeah. hasn't it? But that one's a carpy area. So again, fish pellets. I caught 124 pound of carp across on pellets. And then today I've been on 27U, which again, the carp on you live on 25, 27. And I caught them on pellets again. So, so nice and easy, 100 odd quid on bait. Well. But it's not because I bought loads of bait, <laughs> but it's all coming out with me. <laughs> So what now a phenomenal week and i've definitely got lucky i've avoided bagger in most sections and some others it's, but um it's developing a real sort of legacy this event now i mean obviously this is your second time you've won that trophy andy bennett's the only person to have won it twice um what does it mean to you to to, to win this again? well th this is one of the big ones this is what we class it as is either fish show match this golden reel and this one this is our year what we do it for and it's a bit more of a different one this because it's not Yes, you need the luck, but not as much as you need the luck. There's a bit more consistency involved yes. in this one, of course, isn't yeah. there? Yeah, I mean, And that's, that's important to me. The nicer matches, they're not. The less pressure, because it's just sat on your own, and you can. it's proper fishing matches, not as lucky as some of the qualifiers are. Definitely. So, yeah. Well, you've got the new trophy. You've got the Daiwa Air Z pole. Yeah. Um, £3,000 in cash. So what are you going to spend it on? Oh, I don't know. The wife and the daughter will have all ideas for that. And in fact, I know she's already getting a Hoover, a trampoline, and a bike. And that's just your wife? Yeah, and that's just Sophie. <laughs> yeah. Jamie, well a very popular champion. Well Thank done. you very much, Tom. And we'll see you next year to defend it. Of course you will. Lovely.